Okay, now since it's like night time, it's quite dark and everything you can see, um, we're going to try this nice little glowing pickle experiment. Got the two electrodes here connected directly to the mains. Uh, we've got a surge protector here just to it. But I don't really want this exploding in a raging fury and blowing out fuses in my house. Um, so we're just going to connect this nice yummy pickle. It's the best I could find really. It's about the biggest in the jar, which is what I want. This sticks down here. Okay, so I'll hold it up in front of so you can see it properly. Okay, so what we do, um, I might stick it in this way so it doesn't fall out or get blown out. So I've found them past tests, so it's just stuck in like, oh, stuck in like that. Now there. Um, also, you don't really want to stick them in end to end because it does have the almighty possibility of arcing inside which would just generally result in the pickle exploding and I have felt that sometimes they can melt I'm just hoping that's not too close I've got now nice black shit all over my hand from the last time I did it just a couple of minutes ago um, let's wipe that off okay, so now let's flick on the power watch out, one high amusement um, yeah, so it just melted the hole in the pickle. It actually melted its way out. As you can see right there, I better turn the power off actually. Um, so it melted its way out and then blew out. As you can see, it's just lying on the ground here, so we might stick that back in and um, give it a redo. Let's try it again. Uh, oh, it's warm. It's lovely and warm actually. Um, how can we do this at the fucking fire it everywhere? I've got a really bad feeling it's gonna just arc and blow this place to shit. And you can see they're pretty close. Yeah, you know. Close enough that I have a really bad feeling it's just gonna arc between the two. Let's um Alright, oh, good. There we go. <laughs> and I think we've run out of the steam now. Just a bit of sparking. Oh. Oh. Okay, so these gherkins. What I have here apparently aren't brilliant for it. Oh, it looks like the nail that she melted through the thing. But, um. Shit. How warm was it? It's pretty hot. But it looks like the nail has fucking melted a gigantic hole into it. Um, as you can see there, there's a almighty hole in the pickle. <laughs> Where there um, was the nail. So it makes quite a big mess, and um, I would advise that if you're going to do this yourself, to so stand back, you're going to use the mains, at least stick like a surge protector on it, and don't fucking touch it while it's on, because you'll probably kill yourself. So we've got ourselves a holy pickle. Yeah, enjoy. Okay, now this is another one I'm going to try. This time I've got pickled onion. I'm not too sure if this here will work as good as a gherkin, but um, give it a shot, shall we? So, um, here's my onion. It's not huge or anything. It's quite heavy though. It's been sitting in the fridge for like, oh, I've got no idea how many years. Um, so let's have a nice look see here. Yeah, you're staring at my crutch, it's wonderful. Um, see how all this one works. So I'm just gonna jam. Oh, it's quite dense. Had to get it then. Jesus Christ. Um, so we've got the one electrode in. Um, try and get the next one in. Preferably, as I said before, you don't want it touching because it can blow up in your face with that arc. Which would make a fucking mess of my face. 
It looks bad enough as it is without it being blown up. So there we go. Onion connected in. Um, got a lot of shit on my hands. I'll be back and see how he's blocked off the grass. Back. Okay. Bingo. We have got onion connected. Got connected directly into the mains. Let's see how it goes. I'll bring it. It works for onion too. Making a lot more smoke, smelling a lot worse than putting spark heavy there. Really good. Whoa. Um. <laughs> We've got problems. Oh, guy. <laughs> so, as you can see, the um, onions apparently work a lot better than pickles. Um, a pickle. Um, yeah, than like, than like gherkins. Um, so what it did apparently is it arced inside the pick, inside the onion. Gave me a bit of a fright to be honest. I reckon we should pr try it with some plums, but I don't think they'll work. Pretty good. Okay, so something else I just noticed to do with this here. Uh, no, it's actually got a large quantity of carbon stuck around the fucking thing. It's, that onion obviously, um, yeah, well it was exciting anyway, but as you can see, we've got to sell the plum. I don't think this is going to work at all since it doesn't, it hasn't been pickled or anything, but shit, anything's worth a go, isn't it? We're going for ourselves with this little plum. So, um, just, I don't know, jam it in there, I suppose. Oh, get the other one, it's flying on the ground now. And jam it and jam it on the other side. Jam it in it too. And um, so we got it hooked up like that. Be that what oh fuck. Why came off? Um, I really don't think this is gonna work. But you know, in the name of science, it's always a good idea to try and shit. It's just like all over my fucking pants. I'm off my pants. Okay. Let's see what we get going for ourselves with a plum. Like I said, I don't think much is gonna happen, but. Nah, nothing's happening. Oh, there's something happening, something's happening. Oops. Whoa! Oh, it's glowing! It does, it just takes a while to get started, apparently. Seems like any fruit you can burn. That's gonna touch any second now and blow the whole thing to shit. That's pretty good, really. Yeah. I would never have guessed that a plum works. That guy's actually quite a bit better than a pickle. Note the future scientists doing this. Here's a plum. I've got a whole tree of these things. Oh, there's hours of fun. It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Something's wrong. Here we go. Really screwing this thing up, and it's about to touch. Yeah. So yeah, 